early in the book, uh, you identify a lot of corporations act like psychopaths. I think there's a famous documentary. Uh, yes. uh, it's not the firm, is it? Is it the, the corporation that did that, right? The corporation. And, um, yeah. Exactly. So based on that, um, what should leaders do to really acknowledge that if they can actually even acknowledge that? Mm. And, you know, how do you, how do you start mm. with that kind of change in particular? You know, is, is there a difference between the individual level and, and in, in a wider section? So, so what, what, how do you start? Well, I think that film was filmed back in 2003. So, so it's mm. coming up for, well, it's not quite 20 years, 18 years old. However, I think there are situations where it probably absolutely does still apply. Um, and, um, you know, in terms of understanding psychopathology and who's attracted to leadership, you know, the whole idea of power and having power over, you could almost say that attracts um, narcissistic, psychopathic type people into those roles. However, I would say that there's a lot that's gone on within organisations to counteract that. And I would also say the majority of people that I've worked with over the years have not been narcissists and not been psychopaths. They've been people who have got a genuine positive intention around their leadership. And I think this whole um, even working in some very big corporates, the whole element was around recognising humility and that we are all human beings. And I think the thing to get is that the organisations are, at the end of the day, large collections of human beings. And by acknowledging and recognising that, um, that is a good starting point to look at. And then as a leader, recognising that particularly the more senior you get, the bigger the impact you will have on what becomes normal about how we go about <clears throat> doing things. So if I'm going to be a leader at the top of a big organisation and it's really just all about me and about my success, and I'm not really bothered about other people's, um, I'm going to create a fairly psychopathic organisation. It, it, and I'm, I'm simplifying things very, very much here. But if I'm genuinely and authentically motivated by making a difference and having a positive impact, I will role model the behaviours that support that and encourage a culture that is also supportive of that. So leaders have a huge role to play in the cultures that they create and whether that their organisation is, in inverted commas, psychopathic or not, I would say. <laughs> 